what's like your go-to pose when you're taking a nude? And oh. can you teach Jess? Because yes. I don't take them. You like lay on the floor and you take it up angle so you're like this, so it's like going down this way. So your stomach mm, looks really that flat. Makes my oh, okay. Small. Big boobs. And that. Oh, here's the one laying down. That's like the good angle. Oh, damn, girl, you're naked. Yeah. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, today we're doing another creepy video. Now I'm just gonna start this video by saying, listen, I'm a fast food fan. Clearly, if you've been watching my videos, you know that I love myself some Taco Bell, some McDonald's, pretty much everything that has a drive through I fucking love, but it doesn't change the fact that there are some scary stories about your favorite fast food restaurants. And there's even some scarier conspiracy theories. Now, I'm not the only person that loves fast food. In the United States alone, there's over 500,000 fast food chain restaurants. Every day, millions of people are going to these places and buying food that has ingredients that they don't even understand. And of course, we all know that fast food is bad for us and it can cause obesity. But even scarier than that, we're going to be talking about some fast food situations that involve cannibalism, poisoning, conspiracy, and mass murder. So first, let's talk about the biggest conspiracy theory of them all. Fast food was created to keep all of us obese, unhealthy, and easy to manipulate. Now, it's not a secret that major corporations profit a lot off of obesity, and corporations work extra hard to make us bigger. Now, why would corporations want us to be fat? Well, number one, the weight loss industry. I mean, just go into any store or drive down any street and tell me how many weight loss products or companies you see. Jenny Craig, Weight Watchers, Slim Fast, Lean Cuisine, 24 Hour Fitness. Every restaurant has a new menu with new diet trends, juice cleanses, literally anything you could think of. People are making money off of you being fat. Now the weight loss industry in America alone is worth over 80 billion dollars. And they like the cycle. The cycle is you go to fast food restaurants, you eat a bunch of food, you gain a bunch of weight, then you go to the weight loss places, you lose some weight, then you gain it back again, you go back to the fast food place. It's just one big cycle. And trust me, I've been on the same cycle. Now, I don't want to get sued, but I want to tell you a crazy little story. I used to work at Jenny Craig. Now, a lot of you guys know that. I've made videos about it before. And I lost a lot of weight on Jenny Craig. And one day I came to work and I saw that all over the office was little logos for Nestle. Yeah, Nestle. You know, the same people that make chocolate. And I said to the boss, uh, wait, you're telling me one of the biggest chocolate companies in the world now owns Jenny Craig, a weight loss company? Which even more so just showed me these companies work together to make you fat and to make you lose weight and then to make you gain it back again. So you have to lose more weight. Once again, I don't wanna get sued. I'm not saying that that's all real and for sure it's all a theory. And when I worked at Jenny Craig, I never had anybody telling me they wanted our clients to gain weight. That is not true, but it was fishy that <laughs> a chocolate company bought it. Now the next place where all the money is, is the drug companies. Now obesity related drugs, mainly diabetes, is worth $600 billion. Which means if you lose all the weight and you don't need these drugs anymore, means they're not making money off you anymore, which means they want to keep you fat, which means... Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Yeah, they're loving it. <laughs> now another thing that's kind of crazy is have you ever wanted fast food really bad? Like you were craving it, almost like an addiction. And the more you have it, the more you want it, and the more you think about it at night. I mean, I know that's how I feel. I fucking love fast food. Well, that's because in fast food is added chemicals that literally stimulate your brain and make you addicted. Now, casein and MSG are two chemicals that are in a lot of fast food, and these chemicals enhance the flavor, but it also makes you crave it more. And this is not a theory. This is very real. And if they can replicate that chemical reaction that may happen on your tongue or an aroma, uh, they can simulate the taste of something without it being at all real. Now this is where it starts to get a little scary, but it's all very real, so let's talk about it. If corporations or the government or whoever is in control of the world wants everybody to be fat and unhealthy and easy to manipulate, then you would think they would start while the person is young. And they do. Billions of dollars are put into advertising fast food to children. SpongeBob toys are now at Burger King in celebration of the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Yeah, SpongeBob, a children's cartoon, is endorsing a fast food company which makes a kid want to get fast food, which we all know is bad for them, but the parent's like, all right, the kid won't shut up. Let's take him to the fast food place. And then the kid gets fat, and then the kid's obese, and then the corporations got exactly what they wanted. 
And it's not just advertisements. Fast food places, as you guys know, literally creates an environment to entice kids. I mean, why else is there actual ball pits <laughs> and playgrounds inside of a fast food restaurant? I mean, the whole idea of that is insane, right? But we're so used to it because we're like, oh, when we were kids, you know, fast food commercials, we loved them and we loved going to McDonald's with our mom and we loved all the crazy colorful ads. <laughs> Making a happy meal with Ronald and friends. <laughs> So does that mean we're brainwashed? Maybe. I mean, just look at this PSA. Now there are some fast food chains that don't put chemicals in their food and don't advertise to kids. And the major corporations do not like that. So let's talk about the theory that the major corporations are trying to get rid of Chipotle. That's right, Chipotle. Now it's technically fast food, but it seems a little bit healthier. And they've been very, very loud about the fact that there are no GMOs in their foods. They talk about how there's no chemicals, everything's natural. They even put out a short film in 2013 showing a scarecrow who goes on this journey. And the journey represents the fight against the fast food industry. Now it shows him going into a factory and witnessing the scary process of fast food creation. Chickens being pumped with chemicals, cows in tiny cages, and he even shows the children consuming these products. And of course, the short film has a happy ending. Well, two years after that short film came out, something happened. This morning, fast food chain Chipotle is at the center of another E. coli outbreak. That's right. There was an E. coli breakout at Chipotle that caused 350 people to get sick. Now, this is where it gets a little scary. A lot of people believe that Chipotle was a victim a bioterrorist attack. A lot of people believe that one of the many multi-billion dollar industries infected Chipotle's meat in order to change the public's perception of locally sourced food. So basically, one of these huge corporations might have sent someone out there to poison the food so that everybody in the world would be like, oh, Chipotle's bad for you. Let's go back to insert fast food name here. Well, it kind of worked. Even I, after that whole story came out, I was like, ooh, I don't think I'm gonna go to Chipotle anymore. I mean, granted, a month later, I was like, ooh, Chipotle. <laughs> but still, it did work for a minute. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but this is not out of the ordinary. I mean, remember in the video we did about the dark web? People literally hire assassins, commit crimes, buy babies online. So why would it be so crazy to imagine a big corporation hiring somebody to go poison some food? It's not crazy at all. Once again, not saying it's real, saying it's a theory, not trying to get killed. <laughs> but it is crazy to think about. All right, now let's talk about some of the worst things that have been found inside of fast food. First, we're gonna talk about Bugs. Fashion News is asking questions about a local McDonald's after a woman showed us the sandwich she says it served her with two worms inside. Yeah, a woman found worms in her sandwich. Just listen to her describe it. The one that I bit into, I pulled it out and there's another one in here. There's no telling what else is in those sandwiches. I mean, if it came from the shipping, it, I'm pretty sure it's not just one chicken sandwich. Now, even scarier than that, sometimes an employee purposely puts weird shit in the food. And I'm not saying spit or cum, even weirder than that. One employee started putting prescription pills in people's food. Ernest McHenry spotted the little blue pill in his fish sandwich on Friday. Police say it is the painkiller hydrocodone. Now this one gave me the fucking chills. A boy at Arby's, and by the way, he fucked up already for going to Arby's. <laughs> he bit into his sandwich and there was a fucking finger. A Michigan teen was finishing his Arby's roast beef sandwich when he bit down on something that seemed rubbery. He spit it out only to discover it was the tip of a finger. It turns out an employee cut her finger on a meat slicer and left her station without telling anybody about it. She was treated at a hospital. The boy had a blood test and got some medication. Arby's is calling it an isolated incident. Ah! <laughs> if I didn't already need another reason to avoid Arby's. Now this next thing happened at Wendy's, which is my friend Drew's favorite place in the world. So Drew, please don't watch this. A little girl bit into her burger and she got a mouth full of glass. She started to crunch, this super loud crunch that was not normal. She says she panicked for a moment, watching her daughter cry in pain. He was telling her, don't swallow, don't swallow, honey. Then quickly got on her knees and tried to get the food out of her daughter's mouth. As I was pulling her food out, I was pulling food out and blood out, and I saw that I had particles of glass on my fingers. Ah. 
Ugh, I don't know why, if it's just my mind, but I saw it in my head. Like, I saw the blood. Now, it's not just crazy shit that's found inside the food. Sometimes crazy shit happens inside the restaurant. I mean, I'm sure you all remember this crazy video of a girl getting pulled through the window at a drive-thru. It's fucked up. A melee at McDonald's, a teenager now charged with battery and two others issued summons after police say the three girls attacked a fast food worker in Laplace. And this whole incident is on video and it's gone viral. Get in! Crazy. And the craziest part is that happened literally across the street from a sheriff's office. And there's so many videos like this. Just check out this one. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Don't make me into my ultimate form. I will fuck you up. Wait, I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna wreck you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna try to show you what the fuck I'm gonna Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. And even scarier, this video shows a couple beating up people because their food was cold. She went berserk. She just lost it. Him and her both started cussing and beating on the window. Norris came outside to tell them police were on the way when the woman started punching and slapping her in the face. What Jeanette couldn't see as she staggered back inside was her daughter getting out of the truck to help. Now obviously those all happened at a drive through but this next story, this is something much darker than that. We're going to be talking about the fast food killer. There was a man named Paul Dennis Reed. When Paul Reed died on Tennessee's death row, he was waiting to be executed for the murders of seven fast food workers during a robbery and killing spree in 1997. Reed killed employees at a Captain D's in Donaldson, a McDonald's in Hermitage, and a Baskin Robbins in Clarksville. Now, Paul Reed committed some of the most violent crimes in American history. Now, his plan was to commit execution-style murders at different drive-thrus in Tennessee. It started at a place called Captain D's Seafood, and that was in 1997. So Reed walked into the restaurant pretending like he was applying for a job. Then he told two of the young employees to walk into the freezer. Then he turned them around and shot them both in the back of the head. Now, of course, he took everything, stole all of their money, and left. Then sometime after, he went to McDonald's that was only a few miles away from the last murder. There, he stole $3,000, and he shot three employees in the head. But he ran out of gun ammo, so he ended up stabbing the last employee 17 times. Now, luckily, the man who was stabbed actually survived. His name was Antonio Gonzalez, and years later, he actually testified against Reed, and Reed was sent to jail for life. But before he was sent to jail, Reed was also involved in more murders. He went to a Tennessee Baskin Robbins and kidnapped two employees, and then took them to a park. Then he stabbed them to death and slashed their throats. Now, Paul Dennis Reed did get the death penalty, but he actually died in 2013 from complications of pneumonia. Now listen, I know we've talked about a lot of scary shit today. We talked about conspiracy theories, murder, fingers in food, but I just want to say once again, this is not me preaching or saying that you shouldn't have fast food. I love fast food. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't, but I do. But I do think it is good to be aware of what's going on and some of the theories, and maybe slowly but surely we can try to live a more healthy life. But I'm not gonna lie, doing the research for this video did freak me the fuck out, but I definitely had Taco Bell last night. <laughs> Alright, you guys, hopefully you enjoyed this creepy video. If you want more scary videos like this, give me a thumbs up so I know. Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit that notification bell because I make new videos every day. And if you want to see some of my other scary videos, I've done conspiracy theories, I've talked about haunted locations, I'll put a link to a playlist right at the top of the description below. Alright, you guys, see you at the drive-thru.